Buy some on homeware. Yay! All right. Blinka, blinka. So, a um, few things, and we have so much Python on hardware stuff, we have to pick our favorites. So, I'm going to skip these couple things right now. Um, I'm going to do this, and then we're going to go to the two highlights of the week. So, please get your what you want in CircuitPython 2022. You can tag it, you can post it, you can look at our videos, you can, you name it, just, just hashtag CircuitPython2022. Uh, to the blog, and you can also um, email it to us. Whatever you want to do, get it to us, uh, because you help shape CircuitPython. It's not too late. It isn't too late. Um, we go over some of the stuff we've been doing with this this floppy work, and then um, a ton of projects. It is never-ending. There is so much going on with Python on hardware. We're having a hard time keeping up with it. The newsletter is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, subscribe, go to Adafruit Daily. I'll talk about that in a second. But the two things this week that I think is big and interesting news, if you love your brand, if you love your thing, set it free. So there is a show called the CircuitPython Show podcast, a podcast with people in and around CircuitPython, and we have nothing to do with it. Nothing. Yay. And Not the, re me. the reason I say yay is because CircuitPython um, has, is, and will be bigger than uh, an Adafruit project. We fund it. We support it. It's all open source. But um, it's circuitpython.org. You can look at all 250-plus boards that are there. Most boards aren't even from Adafruit. And um, we're really proud of that because uh, people want to use this for business. They want to use it for things. Um, competitors of ours use it. That's what... Our, when we light another candle, it doesn't diminish our flame. And so um, we're thankful that we got it started, but we're also uh, extra thankful that people are carrying the torch, so to speak, and doing shows that we just won't have time for. We and do this show. We do this show. We do a bunch of shows. And Scott has a thing, and we have a thing, and we do a thing every Tuesday, and we have another thing. On Mondays, we have our community chat. And so um, there's tons of Python books. There's tons of Python podcasts. There's tons of Python videos. And I think we're seeing the same thing with CircuitPython now. So speaking of, um, CircuitPython is a friendly fork. Uh, we work with MicroPython, that team over there, mm -hmm. and uh, we like to merge and like to do stuff. Uh, we do a couple different things, uh, but what we do is try to make sure there's parity between the two by working with them. And there's a new release, 1.18. Lady yes. Ada, what is in the latest MicroPython? Lots of little speed ups, uh, a lot of bug fixes, um, improvements to, I think, I think especially, um, IMX core and SAMD, and I think ESP32 got a couple, like I think the ESP32 S3 got added support. Um, so like a lot of like little port support. And here's the good news, um, we keep up with releases. So soon after 118, we will merge in all of the, the language library updates into CircuitPython so that um, we get all those improvements. And we also of course contribute back to MicroPython as well in many ways. Um, so I think this is cool. We're doing a lot of work. They're doing a lot of work. And together, uh, we're bringing more people into doing um, Python on hardware, which is what it's all about. It's yeah. not just the CircuitPython newsletter, newsletter. It's the Python on hardware newsletter. Yeah, and there's a million different flavors of MicroPython, and there's other ways to do Python on hardware. There's Blinka. There's stuff on Linux. Then there's CircuitPython. gives you all the hardware support and all the libraries and all the different hardware. So anyways, exciting time to be a developer. So if you want, um, please uh, check out the newsletter. Um, you can get it at Adafruit Daily, delivered to your mailbox every single week. It's uh, separate from the Adafruit.com site because we hate spam even more than you do. And so Adafruit Daily is where you go. Um, you sign up there. It has nothing to do with your store account. We don't harvest emails. We don't do anything like that. Never will. And uh, that's where you get it. And that's this week's Python on Hardware News. Thanks, Blinka.